Some years ago, I came across a copy of a Scandinavian classical music magazine from 1911 and found the following short announcement. The conductor Gustav Mahler died yesterday. Mahler was not only a conductor, he also wrote music. However, his compositions should primarily be categorized as Kapellmeistermusik, and his symphonies are bombastic and heavily over-orchestrated. As a conductor, however, he had a highly successful career and will be missed as such by a very appreciative international audience. It took as long as 50 years after his death for Mahler to be fully appreciated as a composer, very much as a result of charismatic performances by the composer and conductor Leonard Bernstein. Today, thanks to him and many other pioneers, almost every symphony orchestra in the world performs at least one Mahler symphony each season. In 1911, the same year as the article I mentioned before was published, the Swedish composer Alan Pettersson was born into a poor family on the verge of starvation. While Mahler wrote nine symphonies and left one incomplete, Pettersson, who devoted his life entirely to composition, wrote no less than 15 wonderful symphonies, as well as two unfinished ones, the first and the 17th. In Sweden, Pettersson was already during his lifetime regarded as one of the country's greatest symphonic composers. But internationally, there are still surprisingly few who have even heard his name. And much like the initial reactions to Mahler's symphonies, these huge works by Pettersson are misunderstood as being too difficult, too full of anxiety, or too dark to be programmed by established symphony orchestras around the world. For me, Alain Pettersson is certainly one of the greatest composers of the 20th century. A Sibelius who did not spend his last 30 years of his life in almost total compositional silence. A Mahler who did not compromise by devoting only half the time of his life to composing. A musical genius who devoted his whole heart to the symphonic medium. His symphonies should, in my opinion, be part of every symphony orchestra's repertoire today. Listen to his ninth symphony, an epic 70-minute journey towards a final Amen. <laughs> 